Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at a pretty unusual Mauser broom handle. This is a early, very early, post-World War I bolo, but it's kind of a bolo, but it's not really a bolo, but it sort of is. So we'll take a look at some of the weird things going on with this gun and maybe try and figure out what it is and where it came from. So the first thing is, you'll notice this is a bolo length barrel, but it's about 15 millimeters longer than a typical bolo barrel. So it's a little bit, a little bit bigger. And the other difference is this is a full size broom handle grip. So this is um, what you'd see on a full size broom handle, whereas a standard bolo is gonna have the smaller bolo grip. Now, the first thing a lot of people are going to be saying is, oh, this is just a uh, French gendarme, which was a group of about 2,000 guns from about 432,000 to about 434,000 that uh, had some specific features like this with the short barrel and the full-size grip. But usually those grips were a black uh, hard rubber. These are obviously standard Mauser wood grips. Uh, the other thing is, this is a longer barrel than a French gendarme, and also this one is a very earlier serial number. Not that much earlier, but it is earlier. As you can see, that's in the 431,000 serial number range, a little bit before those French gendarme guns start showing up, and it's just just different enough where it's not quite one of those. Also, this gun is not marked. Germany, like most of the French gendarmes were. So that's another difference. Uh, a similarity it's got with those guns is the rear sight is out to 500 meters. And that was also seen on uh, Red Nines. And you'll see it periodically on bolos of the this time period and somewhat later too. Just kind of depends on, I think, the order that Mauser was working on, the, on at the time, and just one of the features that they would put on their guns. As you can see, the uh, bluing on these guns and the machine work really is back to sort of commercial standards. It's got a really nice, deep, shiny blue on it. Uh, the serial number is nicely stamped. It's not sort of all over the place like the wartime guns. Your Barrel is just nicely finished. There's not machining marks all over this gun. Uh, like I said, it's got a very thick, nice blue. Your fire blue is very rich on it, and your grips are back to that sort of uh, pre-war commercial look where you've got a lot of good varnish, a lot of grain, just very nicely picked wood, not just whatever Mauser could get their hands on. Also, the metal to wood finish or I'm sorry, the fit is really nice on these. So they're just well-made guns. And these were probably made in the very early post-war period, probably about 1921, 1922, maybe um, at, the, at the latest. And you've got your standard serial number repeated. And then on your hammer, your last three digits with the new safety still they were using. Um, and also one thing that Mauser did a lot of times on the bolt is they'd actually put the last four digits of the serial number. Um, so that just seemed to be one thing they changed up. So a lot of things you'll see the last four of the serial number on them. Um, other than that, it's a very standard gun. And you've got your standard Mauser mark on this side no other marks on the gun whatsoever um, other than your crown u proof which was standard over here so just a sort of an interesting gun this seems to be almost like a prototype of the french gendarme contract because it has a lot of the same uh, characteristics of the french gendarmes but it's a little bit different just just different enough where it's not the same <laughs> And Mauser liked to do that. They like to just change things up a little bit. Uh, so I'm not sure if this was made as a sample to just kind of show what they'd be like or what. But it's a very interesting gun that you don't see very often. And uh, it is extremely well made. And it's just, 
it's kind of nice to see Mauser getting back to the quality that they were before World War One, and um, this is not a gun that really floats around very much. Uh, if there were many of these made, they really don't seem to come to market very often. So, hope you've enjoyed seeing a somewhat interesting and unusual variant of short-barreled Mauser. And if you like what you're seeing, or if you have one of these, I'd love to hear about it. Especially if it's in a serial number range right around 431,000. Um, be very interested to know more about it, or any story that you can uh, sort of fill in any information. And if you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and uh, keep watching, and we'll put more videos up. Thanks!